So we are going to be learning maybe a new sound today. I'm going to see if any of you guys already know this sound, though. First of all, it's a sound that we make when we see something really cute. If someone showed you a brand new little fuzzy puppy, what sound would you make? Aww. Aww. And do we know how to spell awe when we want to spell it in a word? How do we spell it? O-H. O-H. Okay. Usually when I spell O-H, I think O. Does anyone have another way they might spell? Tegan, how would you spell O-W. O-W. All right. O-W actually says ow. Or sometimes it says O. All right, let's see. If we spell the word low, mm -hmm. it says O. So we have to figure out how we would spell all. Hmm. What do you think, Bray? Oh, now we're talking. That is one of the ways. Now, there's more than one way. But A-W is definitely a way that we're going to spell all. Does anyone know another way we might spell all? Oh, that is a way that sometimes spells ah. Oh, that is true. It's not what we're learning today, but that is good thinking, Maggie. Was that what you were going to say, too? Okay, what do you think, Derek? Do you have an other one? O-U. Okay, O-U. Let's look at a word that has O-U. It usually says ow, like out. So if we're looking for aw. Hmm. What do you think, Willa? So close. I'm going to give you a hint that our other way we're going to talk about today does start with an A. A W W. And it's part of a vowel team of two letters. So it's not A O. Maggie, you want to give it a, a try? Well, A O would say Al. Okay, one more try, and then I'm just going to tell you. Why? A Y? I think it is. Is it A Y? A Y says A. It's a A E. Oh, so A U. Oh, A U. I love it. We thought about it long enough, and we came up with A U. We're gonna look at some words. It's like cool. So, oh, I know. Does this look like a Q? I think my pen. Yeah, so A U or A W. So let's see. If I want to spell the word paw, like my dog put his paw on me. Which one of those would I like to use for the paw? Top. What do you think? A, A W. A W. Paw spells paw. Okay. Let's try a word. Oh, what word am I going to start? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I know how you got that. This whiteboard is tricky. It's very So helpful. Okay. Do you see beside the black marker down there mm -hmm. at the very bottom? That's the eraser. Do you know who actually taught me to use these boards was um, a kindergarten class. I used to go in Miss Reinhardt's room last year and I had really never used one of these boards because when I teach we usually just use pencils and paper believe it or not and so I had these kindergartners teaching me where to find things on the whiteboard. It was pretty funny. In fact, Miss KK's daughter was one of them who taught me to use the whiteboard. Okay, so we spelled pop. Let's try another word. Now they're in first grade, right? Now yeah. they are. How about the word haul? Like I'm going to haul a heavy load of wood. So let's see. What sound? Haul oh. starts with a huh. And we're going to have an aw and then a pull. So which one of those aws do we want to use? A-W? A-W. Let's look and see. Haw. Hmm. No, that one isn't our one. Okay. Like a store? No, this is like I'm going to haul something. Like if you hook a trailer up and you're going to haul like a heavy school bus. A-U. Okay. We're going to use that A-U, haul. Okay. Let's try. Oh, come on. Smack right it. Here. You have to smack it. Oh, I have to smack it. Is that? <laughs> That's so give it a little hard. high five and then it, it works better? Yeah. Okay. How about the word lawn? Like, I'm going to mow my lawn. So we have a ball. We have an aw sound and an mm. All right. Ooh, Bree, I haven't called on you yet. 